first light in March of 2010, Rob Krantz and his brother Phil had gotten an early start to check their gravity flow water line that their ancestors put in more than 100 years ago, which had been cut many times by illegals crossing from Mexico onto their property. In Douglas, Arizona, their Douglas, Arizona ranch is about 20 miles from the Mexican border. But Phil was going one direction and Rob, his brother, were coming from another direction because it's such an isolated desert area, area on their 25 or 35,000 acre ranch near, in Douglas, Arizona. All of a sudden, Phil got a phone call by the cell phone from Phil, from Rob, who said that uh, he was going to depart from the normal route because he felt there was a suspected illegal that needed his help. So him and his dog, Blue, departed the normal trail. Well, shortly after that, Phil never heard another word because it was the last communication from Rob Krentz alive. It wasn't until midnight, after an extensive sheriff search and a number of ranchers who were going to check where the footprints left by the person near Rob's body was traced back across the Mexican border. Rob Krentz and the Krentz family are prominent ranchers in Douglas, Arizona and in the Southwest. But what this emphasizes is once he was murdered, which is believed it was, he was murdered by a suspected illegal, it brought up the issue of immigration reform. And the immigration reform is not the main key to the issue. It's about the Mexican cartel murdering their own people and leaving dead bodies on a number of the ranchers' properties. But more than this, this is the essence of the true American cowboy heritage, starting from Florida in the old days of the pioneer cow hunters, Western expansionism, all the way out to the West. These are the stories that we followed in the golden age of Hollywood, Hopalong Cassidy and Roy Rogers. But these are real people having to deal with real problems of survival economically, protecting their families, and attempting to protect their cattle industry on the four border states, Arizona, California, New Mexico, and Texas. You know, American cattle ranchers have been in the business of supplying the United States and the globe with food from their cattle industry. But this is an issue about cartel and immigration reform that not only do people in the Southwest have to deal with, but everyone has to deal with because we have to get our food from cattle. We don't get it from the grocery store. But the cattle industry has been dealing with this issue of the cartel more than 20 years whereas the immigration bill in Congress has been dealt with for a very short time. And it's interesting that there's nowhere in any of the information out of Washington to indicate it's the cartel is a billion dollar business. And as Ed Ashurst of Bisbee, Arizona says, it's not about immigration reform, it's about smuggling. And smuggling with the cartel is a deadly business. This book is something that are, is combined of all true stories. The ranchers have looked at these true stories and they need to express what is really happening along the southern border. And the question is, how are these smugglers be taken care of? Will the U.S. government actually deal with the billion dollar cartel industry that controls the border? This is the true issue and people need to carefully consider what's truth and what is doublespeak out of Washington. You know, the 200-year cultural heritage of the cow hunters in Florida and Western expansionism and the 200-year heritage of cattle ranchers out west have always dealt with unbelievable obstacles to put food on the table for the breadbasket of America and today the globe. They've dealt with droughts, snows, cattle diseases, tick epidemics, and yet somehow 
the small group of ranchers that make up a small portion of the population and industry, they do continue to survive with courage and fortitude. The ranchers today, even though they have difficulties still, especially the border ranchers, with the Mexican cartel who controls the border, a billion dollar business, cutting their fences, cutting their water lines, dropping dead bodies that the cartel charges Mexicans who want to escape their horrible destiny, $3,000 to get a coyote to bring them across the border, dead or alive. Despite all these obstacles, I have no doubt the courageous cattle ranchers along the border and across the United States even though it's a deadly risk on the border, I have no doubt they will prevail.